Hi there. This is just a brief short topic video focusing on the question, what is market failure? Well, market failure is basically when the price mechanism leads to an inefficient allocation of scarce resources. And as a result, there's a, a deadweight loss of, of economic welfare. Society can, can lose out as a result of market failure. The classic example of market failure comes from externalities, both in production and consumption. Negative externalities, for example, pollution from a factory. Uh, output tends to be oversupplied from society's point of view. With positive externalities, goods and services might be underconsumed. For example, the underconsumption of training or healthcare or education. Demerit goods is another example of market failure, partly as a result of negative externalities, and partly as a result of information failures. Consumers may overconsume demerit goods. And information gaps are also an important cause of market failure, leading people perhaps to make suboptimal choices. By the way, though, of course, there are topic videos on all of these aspects of market failure on the YouTube channel. Free markets may fail to provide, either in part or in whole, sufficient quantity of public goods. Public goods are non-excludable, non-rival and non-rejectable, and the free market may provide them, fail to provide them completely, in which case is the case for government intervention. And the free market uh, may under-consume and under-provide merit goods. Goods that, uh, admittedly with a value judgment being made here, goods and services where there are positive externalities and people tend to under-consume those. We look also at monopoly as a cause of market failure. The concentrated markets in the hands of one or one or just a few suppliers can lead to a loss of economic efficiency. And in the labour market, there is significant labour immobility stops the labour market working efficiently and effectively. So these are all different types of market failure. They each have different consequences. And for each, we would look at the different types of intervention that might be used to correct the market failure. Let's take housing as a quick example. Housing market is often in the news. Markets fail when they don't achieve a socially efficient or an equitable outcome. And I think the housing market's a good example of that. There are some significant information gaps, for example, between buyers and sellers, not just in the market for buying homes, but also in the market, for example, here for student rented accommodation. One could argue that empty housing is an inefficient waste of resources and the homelessness clearly raises issues of equity and fairness. There are big uh, divides in the housing market. Many, many people cannot afford either to buy or to rent, so inequity inequality in the, in the housing sector is important. There are externalities, both positive and negative, from building new homes. And the housing market is often regarded as a key cause of geographical immobility of labour. Fundamentally, the housing market is undersupplying and has done for many years. It's widely agreed that there's a chronic undersupply of homes, creating excess demand and rising prices. Is that a market failure? And if so, what can be done about it? In the labour market, there are also some key causes of labour market failure. High persistent long-term unemployment is clearly an, uh, a failure of the labour market. Markets fail to reach a social optimal level in the labour market. Why? Because labour is immobile, both occupationally and geographically. Oftentimes people face disincentives or barriers to finding work. It may be the case that the incentive to earn extra income is, is not particularly strong, partly because of the of the working of the tax and benefit system. There may be some information gaps in the market leading to leading to discriminatory behaviour by employers. And there's often, often a significant market power in the labour market. In particular, uh, many employers, big employers in a local town or, or area have monopsony power. And they can use that buying power in the labour market perhaps to drive down wages and perhaps conditions. So the labour market would be a good one to study if you want to think about some causes of labour market failure. More well, generally, market failure is the failure of freely functioning markets to reach a socially efficient and equitable allocation of resources. There are lots and lots of different types of market failure, and for each of them we'll have a separate topic video, but this has just been an introduction to the idea.